When you log into Hegarty Maths, this is the screen you'll see. So it tells you how many hours, how many questions, etc. have been done. There are a total of 925 skills. These range from very basic up to almost A level, certainly uh, further maths at GCSE level. We've had two students who've actually completed the whole of Hegarty Maths to date and one member of staff. One of the students is the second youngest to ever complete it. So at the top, my tasks shows you what task has been set by a teacher. So if you want to click on this, it takes you to the quiz. Each quiz has a video to help explain it, but you can just click on the quiz, start the questions and just type your answer in. As I said, it does start very easy. And I'll get the next one wrong just to show you what happens. So we'll say that's two. So you get the prompt to watch the video. And there's this option here, get help, which is the same as this one. If you click that, it will open up the video. I just want you to write the following words in math. At the point you need to answer that question. So it's a very similar question, just with the numbers changed. Right, we'll also get it wrong again now. And we'll see this option here. So when you get it wrong again, it asks you to leave a comment for your teacher if you'd like. So you put your comment in there, you submit it, and that will send the question through with your comment to the member of staff when they're logged in. And they can see the question and your comment, which is quite helpful. Check this button here we get the on-screen keyboard so we can type using this if we want but it's really important for the symbols that are needed so if you need to enter a fraction you will need to use the fraction button mixed number standard form powers indices inequalities etc in terms of pi very common question now this task will will stay up there until you've got a hundred percent or it's signed off by your teacher. So we usually set them to last just under a week and you need to score at least 70% for it to be signed off. If you do the same task repeatedly, such as this simple addition one, because it looks impressive having thousands of questions answered, uh, we don't use questions answered as a measure, we use a number of new skills so it will not show up as a new scale, it will just show up as you've attempted the same one again. 